UCLA has 29,600 undergraduates. Out of this number, over 8,000 students choose to live on the Hill in one of the 16 dormitories. With this many students, the Hill must use a lot of electricity. In this video, we're going to investigate exactly how much energy students use in their daily routines. Our team is interested in alternative energy, and we will look at the means necessary to power the Hill using wind power. Modern windmills are typically 150 meters tall and have three large turning blades with a diameter of approximately 100 meters. These blades are connected to a mechanical shaft, otherwise known as a turbine. Wind flows through the blades, causing the turbine to spin, creating kinetic energy. This turbine is also connected to a generator, which contains a series of magnets and copper coils. When the turbine spins, the magnets and copper coils interact, generating electricity. the generator in the windmill converts the kinetic energy from the movement of the blades into electrical energy. Inside the generator are magnets and coils of wire. These coils of wire experience a magnetic flux produced from the magnetic field of the magnets. The magnets are attached to the blade of the turbine by a rod or shaft and thus also move when the wind turns the blades. This movement of the magnets changes the magnetic flux experienced by the coils of wire. This induces a voltage and a flow of electrons in the coils that counteract this change in magnetic field. This phenomenon is the basis of Lenz's law which states that the induced current in the coil produces a magnetic field to oppose the change in the magnetic field which produced it. This current created from the generator is the electrical energy that will be used. Now, we are going to calculate how many windmills it would take to power the hill. We will be implementing a find, know, plan, and calculate strategy. Specifically, we are looking to find how many wind turbines are needed for an average wind speed of 12 km per hour, the average wind speed of LA, to power the hill for a day, given that there are 8,400 residents on the hill, and each resident uses 5 kilowatt hours of energy per week. We will also assume the windmill blades has a diameter of 100 meters. So let's write down what we know. We know that the average energy used per week per resident is 5 kilowatt hours. Since we want to know how much energy is used per day for 8400 residents, we will divide this number by the 7 days of the week and multiply it by the 8400 residents to get a total of 6000 kilowatt hours of energy used on the hill per day. We also know that the windmill blades has a diameter of 100 meters, giving a radius of 50 meters. The problem also gives us the average wind speed of Los Angeles, which is about 12.1 kilometers per hour. Now, let's move on to the planning portion. Here we have the equation of power produced by a windmill. Uppercase P is the power that is generated by the wind turbine. E is the efficiency of the turbine while lowercase p is the air density, and a is the sweep area, which is the area in which the wind flows through the blades, while v is the velocity of the winds. But how did we get this equation? We know that kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared. The mass of air is the density of air multiplied by the air volume. Substituting in, we find that the kinetic energy of the wind is equal to one half times the air volume multiply by the air density and the velocity of the wind squared. Then, we can connect that the change in air volume is area multiplied by velocity and change in time. We know that power is energy over the change of time. So, by plugging in these constants into each other, we get this equation. Knowing that nothing is 100% efficient, we also have included the variable E for efficiency rate of the wind turbine. We estimate that air density is roughly 1.2 kilograms per meters cubed. We can find the sweep area of the windmill, which is a circle, by using A is equal to pi times the radius squared. Using the 3 meters per second wind and using an efficiency of 30%, we then plug in 0.3 into E, 
1.2 kilograms per meters cubed as the air density, and pi times 50 squared for the area, and 3 cubed for the velocity cubed. This will give us a power of 38 kilowatts. Because the units of the hill's energy usage is in kilowatt hours, we need to convert this 38 kilowatts to kilowatt hours. We will do this by multiplying 38 kilowatts by 24 hours per day, which gives us 912 kilowatt hours per day for one wind turbine. Since the hill uses 6,000 kilowatt hours each day, we can divide this number by 912 kilowatt hours produced by a wind turbine to find that we need roughly seven wind turbines to power the hill in one day. In conclusion, we hope that you have learned how a windmill works, the electromagnetic induction inside the generator, how to calculate the power of wind energy using the given formula, how to derive the power formula. In order to make sure you have a good understanding of the information, please take the quiz that we have created for you. The link is in the description. We hope this video blew you away.